Carpe Diem is Latin for seize the day, like letting spontaneity sneak into your hunting life. I'm Scott Linton, and today is the National Shooting Sports Foundation presents Wing Shooting USA. It's a day full of, well, going with the flow at Horseshoe Curve Hunt Club in Northeast Oregon. Bay. Another axiom is, man does not live by bread alone. Ancient wisdom telling us to add some spice, some variety to our lives. So when the chance came up to hunt ducks before we hunted pheasants, I said, I'll sleep when I'm dead. The birds stay put. They don't have to go out and feed as much. Yeah, yeah. They get educated to people shooting at them and calling them from the banks. They play hard to get. That's the mighty Columbia River, the town of Umatilla, Oregon, and civilization on the opposite bank. We're guided by Travis Malin with Deke's Waterfowl and Brogan Porterfield of Horseshoe Curve. And that's Deke, the Labrador Retriever. Now mind your manners, come on. Place. <coughs> yeah, shoot her. Nice shot. Back! Wow. Was that you? Yeah, that was me. Beautiful. <laughs> that gun got caught in this thing. Oh. You that? You ever had that happen here? Yeah, never. <laughs> now he's going to work for that one because she's, she's crippled. Uh, who's going to swim faster? I don't care whether your dog has a long or short tail, is a pointer, flusher, or retriever. Everyone can appreciate work like this. Deke the Lab is single-minded. Good boy! Bucking current and a very motivated duck. That's repetition. Yeah. That's something you can't teach him, I don't think. There's a lot of desire in that yeah. dog. Got to be. <laughs> That'd be nice. Good boy, Deke. Hold it. Heel. No. Come on. Oh, yeah. Put it down and see what happens. Fetch it up. Hold it. Heel. 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 Give. Good boy. Shake. Woohoo! Deke's place. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. Okay. There you go, Scott. Four bird lead that time. I'm just going to shoulder my gun and take half credit. I'm sorry, man. I shoot fast. That's okay by me. Come go on. Ahead. Go ahead, Scott. You can take it from yeah. Good. Good boy. I'll take par partial credit for at least that part of the retreat. Good, <laughs> Good boy. boy. Place. You're saying this is a Drake Widgeon. It is. It is. You can tell, can tell, tell by, by that. that. Yep. Cotton Top is a little nickname they have. And the and bill. Yep, Actually. the little blue bill. A lot of times this time of year, drakes get mistaked for hens by veteran hunters too yeah. because they're, they don't have any other coloring here. Yeah. Right. He's hurt, he might get away from us, but we'll let Deeks do his thing. He is working his butt off. He needs it. Yeah. He's getting thick. <laughs> <laughs> that dog is relentless. Yeah. I call him back when I get worried about him. I'm not worried yeah. about him yet. Okay, good, because I am. <laughs> oh, he's got it. Good boy, Deeks. Good dog. See how shallow it is right there? Good boy. Here. Good boy, Deeks. Right here. Good boy. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Heel. Give. Good boy. Wow. Good boy. I'd say that was about a 15-minute retrieve, all told. <laughs> 
So this is the difference between the drake and the hen. You, can you see the red chest on the drake a little bit, right, as he's starting to get his color, his plumage? Yeah. Here's your red and your drake. And a lot of times you'll get uh, a nice little pin feather on the bit, like a little sprig on the, almost, coming off the tail, and he doesn't have his yet. In the hen, you really don't have much. It's all brown. Yeah. You know, they're my best friends until they take my birds that crash out here a little oh, ways. Oh, have you seen that? Yes. Oh, my. Yes. A couple of times. Okay, so it's almost shooting hours for upland birds in Oregon. And for me and maybe you, a little waterfowling goes a long way. So put on dry boots, a bit of blaze orange, and we'll see you in the field next on Wing Shooting USA. Wing Shooting USA is brought to you by Yeti, built for the wild. Pointer shotguns, always in stock. Over-unders, under 600 bucks. Quail forever. Get a free browning knife when you join today. And ksoutdoors.com. There's no place like Kansas for generous mixed bag opportunities. Spontaneity is the theme of this week's show. For good reason, we had the chance to take a duck hunt on the spur of the moment. Just like today here at the Rugged Ranch, we're gonna help out a little bit with the branding. All these calves and cows have been in the hills all winter and come down and now they're being marked for market and to prevent rustling. It still happens. If you'd like to take advantage of the Rugs Ranch, we won't make you do any branding or anything else. Come on out and have a hunt with us. Enter to win at wingshootingusa.org. Another great prize, a CZ shotgun. Now I promise to answer a question about bird dogs and bird hunting later in the show. I'll get to that in a minute, but in the meanwhile, take advantage of the next opportunity you have to be spontaneous. The Upland Checklist is brought to you by Cabela's, your source for hunting dog gear. Pack a spare set of fuses for your truck and trailer. Many so-called electrical problems are as simple as replacing a fuse. If you can find the dang box where the manufacturer hides it, that is. Get the entire checklist at scottlindenoutdoors.com and find your gear at Cabela's. I talked earlier about being spontaneous. John Childs of Leopold was in for an elk hunt the next day, and when I found out he had nothing on the calendar, invited him to join us in the field. And what better way to thank Travis for the duck hunt than to put him in an orange vest? Louie definitely has a little BB look to him, doesn't he? That Gertie did definitely had that retrieving thing down. She retrieved most of them. Oh, we got a find right here. You shoot everything that way? Yep. Travis, everything that way? I'll pretend to shoot forward if anybody hits anything. Here we go. Yeah, yep, they're running. Good dog. That was not good shooting. Should have put another one in. <laughs> That's a way to start off the uh, afternoon uh, hunt, right? Bad luck to bring one to bag first. <laughs> oh, he's running. There's a bird in front, I see. Nice shot. I'll take that. Let's pretend that's the one they were after. Yeah. Nice shooting. Thanks. Well, oh, good. I feel a little better now. What that long tailed dog? What's he doing there? I think they're just trying to pick these wind. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, they're all going to fly away from us today, aren't they? Yeah. Except that when they way. <laughs> we, we do have a find here, John. Okay. Oh, and that's that. Oh, look at Ray. <laughs> there goes. That was one that would have blocked. 
But we'll take it. Yeah. I love it. Straight roads plus lots of pressure plus a robust breeze. For a morning duck hunt, great. This afternoon, yeah, not so much. Right Call about where that stuff is in. sticking out. Okay, guys, get ready. Let's get this one up in the air. Yeah, it's that same one running. Yeah, it's kind of what I thought. Uh, Louie, come. All right, so Travis has volunteered to be the blocker. With this wind as strong as it is, and at our backs instead of the right way, he's going to go down to the end of this sorghum field and block it just like you would in South Dakota. With luck, all those birds that are running and are running basically downwind and confusing the dogs, they'll keg up at that end and we might get some birds in the air and some decent shots. Oh, oh Louie's on him. Louie's on him. Running again. Be careful. Travis knows the railroad <sighs> schedule like a Gandhi dancer, so no worries. We are golden. Go, Ray, go. Until about cocktail hour. Ready, boss? Horseshoe Curve is a hunter's hunting lodge. Everything you need close at hand, yeah. including the fields and hospitality that is country comfortable. There's deer and waterfowl hunting too, and a new lodging option offers affordable accommodations for do-it-yourselfers. We'll try anything to counter the forces of nature and running pheasants next on Wing Shooting USA. Got a birdie dog right here. Somebody saw one in here? Oh yeah, you can see oh the sports box moving. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> That's the way to do it. We need some drill. I get it. Never mind. I see you know, a hypothesis developing. I like the look of that dog. <laughs> oh, Ray's on point here. All right, let's go before it scoots out from under us. I'm blocking. Oh, there's a bird. He's right there. He's running. There he is. I shot right in front of that bird. Let's go. Now for the most important question. Where's the hat? <laughs> <laughs> it blew off. <laughs> Let's go. Still on. The short hair is still on. Okay, so you can get running birds in the air if you move fast and block just ahead of where you think the bird is. Let's see if my theory is valid. I think that drill worked pretty well. In the pudding is the proof. Nice shooting, boys. My aching back. Oh boy, really? Um, I think we've just discovered a new hunting technique. What's that? You blocking? The roving blocker. <laughs> well, it certainly worked. Kind of like a free safety. Yep. 
But Raylan just disappeared. Uh, Birdie Setter on the left. Easy. Hey. I think he likes it right in there. You know, he's just backing. Do but... you think it would have got up right here? And now nothing. That pup, he's still learning quite a yeah. bit, but for seven months, I think he's on the right track. Oh, I agree. Raylan, you're the man. <laughs> you like him, don't you? I think I'd call him Domino. Hey, Domino. Look at those. You Domino? You guys care if I run them right to the river real fast, and then we'll just jump in this path? We try to beat the Burlington Northern 514, coming up next on Wing Shooting USA. Wing Shooting USA is brought to you by my new Upland Nation podcast, What You Want to Know When You Want It. The National Shooting Sports Foundation. Win a free hunting trip at wingshootingusa.org. Pheasantennial. Celebrate 100 years of pheasant hunting in the ringneck nation of Huron, South Dakota. CZ Shotguns. Shoot safe, shoot often, shoot CZ. Meet the newest members of the cabby here at the Rugs Ranch. They're still learning the ropes, which is why they're over here and not involved in the branding over there. But they're learning to be flexible and not be, you know, surprised by anything. And maybe that's one of the good things about going on a hunt that has some new members that you haven't met before and become new friends. That's the whole idea this week, and I hope you take advantage of the motivation. Hey, if you'd like to take advantage of a trip to Ruggs Ranch, register to win at wingshootingusa.org. In addition to the trip to Ruggs Ranch for you and a friend, you could also win a CZ shotgun. Now while you're there, you have the chance to ask me a question about bird dogs and bird hunting. Agree or disagree, but I'll be happy to offer my opinion and so will everybody on Facebook. This question comes from Dustin Weyenberg. Feeding a dog the same food during hunting season puts on weight in the off season. What should I do? Pretty basic answer to that one, Dustin. If you don't want to change brands or change formulas, just feed less. It's all about, well, the same things we worry about. You got to burn off as many calories as you take in or you will gain weight. So when your dog is less active, their dog is less hungry. Good luck. Enjoy the rest of the program. We're, we're hunting down the river bank, so really the dogs are going to work that side. We'll all spread up this way, three across. Then when we get up to that corn, we'll put two guns on the right side of the corn, one gun on the left side of the corn, and I'll go through the middle. And we'll see what we can do. So on the record, if all goes well, we might get a bird out of there. That's yeah. <laughs> under promise, over deliver. Yeah. You just don't get the chance to do that. This depends on how many birds are caked up in here and how many came across the river. <laughs> No pressure. <laughs> he won't say it. <laughs> get him up, get him up, get him up. Get him up, get him up. Now he comes back. Get him up, get him up, get him up. It's kind of birdie in here, like something up here. Get him out of here. They've got this little trail right here. They just cruise it. Find right here. Let's do the drill. Seems to be working before. Easy. 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 Nice! I waited as long as I could, Travis. <laughs> the dog was over here, you're good. Pitch it up. Raylan, come. Go boy. Go boy. Now that's go how it's boy. supposed to work. Dog goes on point, boy. bird goes on boy. point. Go boy. Okay, hunt him up, Raylan. Yeah, that was when Vivi was young. Actually, I think he's about the same age as Lulu. And they watch him.
There's a find. Easy, buddy. Easy. Easy. Good job, Scott. Thank you. Fetch the wire. wire. Whoa. Lou, fetch it up. Train coming. Nice shot. I'd like to thank Brogan, Morgan, Brody, and Union Pacific. <laughs> oh, and the dog. Right on time, and so were we. Over the roar of the locomotive, I still think I hear the ice tinkling in glasses. A surprise duck hunt. New friend. Turn about as fair play with a duck guide joining us in the uplands. Being flexible is counter to human nature, but adapting can lead to a bonus. What the Cajuns call lanyap, a little gift. It comes in all shapes and sizes from a puppy's face lick to a boat ride on the mighty Columbia River. We pride ourselves in adaptability during a hunt. In this case, my roving blocker idea is an example. But how about leading up to a hunt, opening ourselves to new people, ideas, and places? I'm Scott Linden. See you in the field or a duck blind. Thanks for watching.